Okay, okay, yeah, 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 what's good, what's good, what it do? <clears throat> it's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, a.k.a. Cleve the Villain, coming out the H-Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV while I bring you the news from the closet. This the platform where we expose the skeletons in niggas' closets, man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's early morning, early morning, just finished doing my prayers, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm Muslim, so we got to pray five times a day. First prayers at, like, between 5.30 and 6 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? So for all you cats that's... You know, uh, you know, for all you Muslims, even you Christians, man, make sure y'all get up early in the morning to ask God for forgiveness, cause your death, your death is gonna come for you like a thief in the night, my nigga, or my sister, <clears throat> straight up, squad business. Your death gonna come to you like a thief in the night, straight up. So, anyways, man, I wanna chop it up about that boy Duke Farrell. He just fought some amateur boxer. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the dude's name, man. Where my other phone at? Hold on. <laughs> While I look for the dude's name, I want to let me shout out, you know what I'm saying, my nigga Duke Farrell, my nigga, cause a lot, a lot been going on in Dallas ever since Mo Three passed. Really, 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 ever since Roy Lee, you know what I'm saying. And then you know we got the yellow BZ cat that's been, you know what I'm saying, running around. Everybody saying that he's putting hits out on people and doing all kind of stuff. You got stuff going on with, you know, with the whole Mo Three situation. It's really messed up, man. It's really messed up. I still can't believe Mo Three is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's 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 really crazy, man. You know, um, really sad situation. I wish that it it, it never happened, but it happened. You know, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy, bro. How he just got off the freeway and just, you know, what I'm saying, didn't have no gun in his hand or none of that. You know, what I'm saying, I'm guessing that he didn't see that shit coming. And before he could even um, before he could even realize anything, to even pick your gun up, whether it's under the seat or, you know, in your glove box or in your middle console or even on your lap, if you don't see some shit coming, man, you you out of there. You can have your gun in your hand. If somebody see you first, it's a wrap. But um, the the, the name of the dude that Duke Farrell fought was called Charles Harris. You know what I'm saying? I guess he an amateur boxer. You know, got some type of boxing resume or whatever. So for Duke Farrell to fight that dude and actually kind of get with him, stick with him, I think that I think that was great. I think Duke Farrell can fight. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he was looking pretty good out there. He looking like a little like 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 a uh, <laughs> like a beginner Joe Frazier or something like that. Duke Farrell could fight straight up. The Charles Harris dude, I don't know if he was taking it easy on Duke now. I don't know because he is an amateur. Boxer, but I mean, a fight is a fight, nigga. If you're in the ring, you, you need you're supposed to take it serious, no matter how skilled you are. You can't take it for granted because if Duke would have caught him with a certain, like with some clean, clean, clean shots, ain't no telling if you would have knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a Texas nigga always gonna be stronger than the, than, than the opponent. You can say I'm biased all you want to. A Texas nigga gonna always be stronger. Than, than his opponent. That's just how I feel. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I know too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This is a slave state. Nigga, we got some of the strongest, biggest, brolic, turkey, pork, ham, neck, football playing looking ass niggas out here, man. From Dallas to Houston to Beaumont to Austin, you know what I'm saying? All over. You feel me? Straight up. But yeah, um, shout out to Duke Farrell, though, man, for that fight, man. In real talk. And all these people that sitting up there opening their mouths, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is niggas is straight weak as hell, bro. Niggas ain't talking about hopping in no ring. A lot of niggas hop up, get up. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a, a lot of niggas, man, they hide behind a gun. A lot of niggas, man. A lot of niggas are scary, coward ass. I'm talking about no fighting, no hand game having ass niggas. You feel me? I'm talking about it. Just it's just it's it's crazy, bro. A nigga will run to a gun quick, mainly because he can't fight. Don't get me wrong. I understand we in the era right now where it's hard to catch a fair one. It's hard for somebody to just squabble and then just walk away after the squabble. Niggas is getting shot, all kind of shit. But, you know, I just feel like a lot of individuals are cowards and they sit up there and they run to a gun faster than they will fight because they can't fight. If you lock some of these cats up in a room with, a, with another dude, on some shit where you tell these niggas, hey, you niggas gotta fight to the death. Or you niggas get a fight to who 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 you know, fight to who 
can't get up or whatever. A lot of these dudes, man, you couldn't even put them up against a female, dog. A female would probably beat their ass up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these dudes, they squeeze that trigger, they pull that gun like this and do this. They, they do they, they, they do their hand. This, this, this is how you shoot. To be honest with you, a lot of these niggas can't even shoot. They do like this. They put it to the side. They be waving their little gun. They do all kinds of stuff. They dance with it. Do like this and can't shoot straight and be shooting straight bullets, hitting people, all kind of stuff. Nigga, you supposed to put your palm over your forearm, my nigga, so you can shoot straight, bro. Straight up, bro. I don't know what you... Do you see cops when they shoot? Do, do they do like this and all like this and twist their hands and start dancing and ticking the pop locking, bro, when they shoot? No, they don't do that, bro. Squad business, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, bro, a lot of niggas gonna hide behind a gun because they can't fight, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully this fight that Duke Farrell had, you know what I'm saying, will be an example for a lot of you other cowards to step in the ring instead of sitting up there doing all this internet bumping and, 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 and running to a gun just because you... Just because, you know what I'm saying, you can't fight or you a coward pussy. You know what I'm talking about? Squad business. So anyways, man, this your boy Ill Flow Spitter, a.k.a. Clee the Villain. Coming out that H-Time, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV where I bring you the news from the closet. Shout out to that boy Duke Farrell. I'm going to hit your line too, my nigga. I still got your number, you know what I'm talking about? And, um, you know, we're gonna, you know, chop it up about a few things, you know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all check out, you know what I'm saying, the Cassidy battle is coming up uh, uh, April 3rd. You know what I'm saying? I will be in the building with my nigga Cass and my TRBRC family, the real the real battle rap community. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be in the building with Cass on pay-per-view, on stage with him on pay-per-view, man. It's about to be great. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, it's about to be live, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, we're, uh, Duke, man, I, I definitely want to work with you in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. We supposed to been did something since Nipsey died. You know what I'm saying? That's how long I've been communicating with him. Even though I haven't talked to him, like, I don't talk to Duke Farrell every day or throughout the week or none of that, but here and there I get at him sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And um, dude been a cool dude with me. He ain't never pissed me off, none of that. He ain't never, you know what I'm saying, disrespect me or none of that. So, I, I, I you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I messes with him. I fucks with him. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, excuse my language. But anyways, man, I think I said too much, man. Early morning, I'm about to roll up this good grass. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gone. Peace. Yeah. Um, somebody.